how long it's gonna take to catch a bourbon. This is the trout and pout for the minnow head. Here we go. They said it couldn't be done. They said you couldn't get burbot in the summer and get massive numbers of them. Well, we had done it. We were catching a fish every five to 10 minutes. We'd blow up our trout and pout spoons, drop them down, do a little wiggle, and within three to five minutes, one of us was hooked up. It was just steady like this for hours, burbot after burbot. Don't let people put you down. Don't let them put doubt in your mind. They're gonna tell you, you can't do it. It's not possible. Don't listen to them. If you're confident you can do it, think outside the box and get it done. Black spot. It's one of the bigger ones of the day. All right, so tonight's program, as you could see, is we're using the trout and pout, anything from a three quarter to one ounce. We're glowing it up. We're adding a piece of fresh meat, such as sucker, emerald, shiner. You can use crayfish, you can use shrimp, anything as long as it's fresh. Will they bite rotten meat or old nasty minnows? Yes, but they don't like them as much. Instead of getting like eight to 10 fish, you might get four. Uh, the type of location that we're looking for to find these burbot, we're looking in water from, I would say around 80 to 85 feet, all the way up to 180 feet deep. Um, could they be deeper? Sure, we just haven't found them there. Uh, and going shallower, we haven't been able to find them any shallower than 85 feet. So if you're somewhere on a lake and you're trying to target burbot in the summer, I would start somewhere around the 120 to 140 mark. And what we're looking for is cobble or rock on the bottom that's isolated. So a big sand flat, deep sand flat with a little pile of cobble. And what happens is at night, all those burbot that are squirming around all over the place congregate on that cobble to feed. And what they do is they go around each rock looking for crustaceans, looking to ambush bait fish and things like that. And that's where we jig for these fish. We'll jig like this in between those rocks and the burbot come around the rock, they ambush it and they strike. Nine times out of 10, the bite will be on the drop. So what we're doing is we're doing a big waving motion like this as we come down and we wiggle on the bottom, nine times out of 10, that's where we get our bite. We lift up, it almost feels like we're snagged. It's like, yep, burb on. Or a lot of times they whack it, you lift up and you miss it. Yep. Oh, I just missed another one. If you're interested in uh, burbot and trying to catch them in the summer, follow along. We're gonna be putting out a lot more content about them. If you have any questions or comments, Put them down below and I'll be sure to try to answer them. All right, guys, see you later and on to the next one. Bye bye. Woo! There you go. <laughs> Did you hear them? Yeah. <laughs> they're like they're making a YouTube video. <laughs> That's funny.